draw a labelled diagram of a barometer and describe how it can measure atmospheric pressure. A barometer is simply a glass tube. Glass tube. It's about a metre long. About 100 centimetres. So it's quite a long glass tube. And what we've done is, into this glass tube, we've, we've filled it full of mercury. So this grey liquid is mercury. Mercury is the only metal at room temperature to be a liquid. So it's very dense. Now, when you turn that, so you filled it up full of mercury, and you've turned the tube upside down in a bath or reservoir of mercury here mercury liquid and that column of mercury inside the tube will fall due to the the weight of the mercury so the weight of the mercury pulls the column down and that means that inside here is created a vacuum a vacuum which is an area of empty space there's no gas in that area but the column will not fall all the way down. Why is it supported at that point? And if we were to measure the distance from there to the mercury bath, surface of the mercury reservoir, then we would see that that's approximately 76 centimeters if you're at sea level. Well, what's going on here? All around us, we're surrounded by air, oxygen, nitrogen, and a mixture of other gases, which, and the, those molecules are constantly bouncing into us. So they're creating a pressure on everything they bounce into. And this pressure is called atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure, or air pressure. And that pressure is applied to the surface of that mercury bath and so it forces or it holds up it holds up the column of mercury so it it kind of counters the weight of the mercury column and atmospheric pressure at sea to, at sea level can hold up about 76 centimeters of mercury it doesn't matter about the width too much of this glass tube it's always 76 centimeters now the thing is that uh, atmospheric pressure changes all the time, and so if it's a if it's a cloudy day, then or if it's you know raining a bit, then we'll find that atmospheric pressure is low. Low atmospheric pressure. But if it's a beautiful day, crisp blue skies, and sunshine, then most likely it's high pressure. So if it's a lovely day with the sun outside, then there's more pressure pushing pushing down on this bath of mercury. So it's probable, it's probably that the, the column of mercury will be higher than 76 centimeters. But if it's a, a rainy day, then there's not so much pressure pushing down here. And so this column will be perhaps less than 76 centimeters. So this is the labeled diagram of a barometer. And so the flashcard has asked us to describe how it can measure atmospheric pressure so we really only need to add that the length of the mercury column the mercury column is equal to the pressure exerted by atmospheric pressure or by the atmosphere so I should say by the atmosphere and from that we can predict what kind of weather is likely round the corner